Hey, my pond people, John G, Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal, educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Today's video, things that matter with people that matter. It's all about Kennan. I have been out to Camp Kennan on three different occasions. I just took all that footage and sent it over to my gal, Leah. She is gonna make you guys some killer project videos. The first one is about a bunch of certified contractors descending on Kenan, you're gonna to get to meet Kenan, find out who he is, what he's all about. You're gonna see this killer swim pond that we put together at his house. And because it's like a year and a half later since we shot the video, you guys are gonna to get to see some amazing after footage. I can't wait to hear the stories and the way that she tells them and shares them with you guys. I hope you have an amazing time and I appreciate you sticking around and sharing this awesome journey with all of us in the Adams family. I'm out. This is Cannon. Hello. He's the man out here. This is his project. This so. is my property. Uh, it's not necessarily my project, but I'm oh, glad that we've got Ed and Brian and Chris and all you folks coming down because it makes me feel a lot less stressed out when I know right. I have the world's best here making this pond. So tell here's, me, here's tell the Tell me what yeah. you're doing with it. I want right, to know so, what's going to happen. So here. here's the scoop. You know, um, obviously I'm a reptile guy and turtles and tortoises and snakes and lizards, all that good stuff, alligators, crocs. So water is a big part of their habitat. Right. As you can see, i got giant ponds here. i got yep. two smaller ones. we got the aquascape ponds out front. Um, but as you know and your customers know, once you get a pond, you always want to go bigger. Oh, yeah. It's just, just like being, a fish tank, right? It's true, man. <laughs> you, you just get surrounded by nature and... Um, that has always been my dream as a young lad growing up, you know, enjoying these animals. I wanted nature to surround me. Um, so with the videos on YouTube that I do, we have a series called Swimming With, and my buddy Kyle has a beautiful lagoon style pool. Awesome. Um, so we would do some swimming with videos, swam, swam with some crocs, swam with some snakes, um, and basically just to show people how these animals behave in the water in right. a controlled environment. But the next phase we thought would be to create a very natural underwater set. So oh, Greg wow. from uh, Aquascape was like, you need a rec pond. I agreed. And so yeah. the pond is going to become an underwater Camp Kennan set. We're going to do bring different animals. So you're going to bring species in and out? Dip different species so. in. Yeah, there'll be a couple that live in here. We'll have some African cichlids, a few koi. That's cool. what we're going to do, man. I'm so That's thankful fantastic. you're here. So let me let me ask you one more question. Are you sure. going to do Are you going to do like bike tricks? On no, this? Hell no, no, yeah. no, I read uh, that. I'm like, yeah, how do yeah, you yeah. go from being a BM, uh, BMX guy to you know, always you know, loved all of a sudden animals. you're a nature lover. Well, and always loved the two always. coexisted. When you ride yeah. a BMX, you're in the woods, uh, dirt jumps, things like that. Mountain right. biking, you're in the woods. Um, the two kind of went hand in hand. Uh, you know, mountain biking and and BMXing are kind of low impa low uh, impact on the environment sport because right. you're you're in there in nature and you're using your own uh, body as pedal power. But when I wasn't riding, I was using my bike to go look for snakes and lizards. And Checking things, out you know. nature. That's right. it, man. I get so it. That that's the and the adrenaline you have from saving an animal. You know, if it's a croc or a gator right. and you got to get on its back and tape it up. There's some adrenaline there too. I bet. All right. So I can't wait to get around story. and see more of what you got going all right, on well, out I'll here. There's crazy to stuff check everywhere. Check it out. You got all these beautiful animals out here in nature, and look at me. I'm sitting over here just soaking it all up. This cypress tree right here. That thing has just got the most awesome root structure on it. There's turtles everywhere in here. Tortoises. I'm not a reptile expert by any means, but definitely a nature lover. Look at them all going. So many ponds out here. Seriously, man, that pond is so awesome. The stones here are quarry. They look like white rocks with a bunch of shells in them. Completely different set of paints from an artist standpoint. Beautiful big pond, huge filtration system. Absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen and this place is gonna be covered up with a bunch of crazy certified contractors tomorrow. We are day seven-ish out okay. here at the Camp Kennedy Rec Pond build. Right. Um, we spent Ed, Nick, Juan, um, myself, gosh, was that it? Yeah, we were out here for five days about three weeks ago. Right. Beautiful weather like it is now. Right. We got the, the whole pond excavated, uh, fabric liner, fabric. Um, if you guys tune into uh, Camp Kennan's uh, video, kind of showing the tutorial of everything. Right, yeah. We got uh that, we got the wetland filter in. Um, we got here 
I don't know, half the bottom was rocked in. We just finished kind of rocking in the bottom two shelves. Um, yeah, I saw you had some, some water excitement going we on. Did, I've been man. watching your update videos <laughs> while we're driving whatever it was, 800 miles out here. So explain to me why why did you guys bring us in? It's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> we brought you in because you're a former artist of the year. Oh, is that what it is? And we need, <laughs> no. we need the good, like, the last 10% detail work to, for it to look. You got some edge work for yeah. me? <laughs> the, we need, the, we need the, the, like, cherry on top. We bring in all the best for these builds, and, and that's why we got guys like you, Chris, Mark, everybody, all the CACs. to meet Kenan earlier today. The guys are getting ready to set one of the three biggest rocks on the project. We just set another one of the rocks and it literally exceeded the limits of the straps and the machines. And this one's about 30% bigger. Look at this madness. This rock is huge. You see that thing right over there behind those guys? Yeah. Let me zoom in on it. It's like a little mountain. Thing's eight feet long, five feet wide, four feet tall. I'm guessing six tons. And it's about uh, 4,000 pounds more than our Cat 308 wants anything to do with, so we got the Cat 303.5 in the game with it. So let's just see how amazing this can be. is basically any reptile kid's dream. He loved turtles, he loved fish, he loved frogs, and uh, he moved down here from Long Island to basically create this paradise. How long ago now? Uh, it's been since 2004. So I bought this house. Prior to that, I was in Las Vegas draining Lake Mead with a big uh, water feature, and it was just not cost effective or good for Mother Earth. So I came down here in 2004, and this truly is my dream home. This is what, you know, you guys, uh, I don't want to get into it too much. I don't know how much more you have to say, but I just want to tell you all how appreciative I am that you are here um, because this is truly my dream. This has been something I've wanted since I was a young boy, going to the Bronx Zoo, seeing all their enclosures. My whole mantra or my MO with these animals is to provide them the best habitats I can give them. My viewers appreciate that about my channel. Uh, it's something that I am very, very serious about. So what you guys are doing here, your generosity, uh, the, I know how hard this work is. Prior to meeting Greg, I was fumbling around uh, creating concrete. the place, do, working with concrete. So um, this is amazing and I really mean it. Thank you. Chris, Nick, uh, Juan, uh, myself, we came down here um, about two weeks ago and we came down to do some of the initial prep work here. And that's because of the scale of this project. This project is 65 feet long from where uh, Chris is at to the far end, which actually is not completed. So right to the excavation is about 45 feet. We still have to dig another section of the stream going that way. It's actually going to be an extension of the pond. But what we had to do, some of the challenges we had here that we had to deal with, that uh, patio area obviously existing, this dropped away quickly. You could see where the, where the grade is over on the back side. So we had the slope falling away. We wanted to make sure that we kept this pond just like we designed any of our smaller projects. We wanted it to be nice and close, close to the home, looking from inside the kitchen, family room, etc. So as they're looking out, they could see across that pond. So that brought in some challenges into play. So what we had to do, we brought in some fill. We uh, completed our excavation. We're about five and a half feet deep uh, right now, and that's water level. I did set the water level down from the patio 14 inches. So it set down a little bit because I couldn't get it all the way up uh, really, really high because we would have had to build this up too, too much over here along the back. He had some existing enclosures and things like that we had to take into consideration. On his property, he has more aged rock like this. So it's been sitting out in the sun, uh, so it has a little bit more character. We're going to want to grab some of those rocks. That's why we're going to take this machine, take a small group of people with the trailer to the other property. We're gonna load up some of that material, bring it back here, offload, and then we'll be able to use that stuff here for the next couple days. Kenan rescues and 
houses all types of reptiles. He's got turtles, he's got tortoises, he's got lizards, he's got alligators, you name it. And he, he has this most beautiful piece of property out here. And he has a ton of followers on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And what he's doing or what we're doing for him is we're creating a large recreational water feature that is going to be his live studio for his swim with series. So he'll swim with his first one he's got planned, he said, is with a 15 foot anaconda. Check this out. This is a giant upflow wetland filtration system. This is going to be the workhorse for keeping the water crystal clear in the feature. There's, there's going to be an amazing waterfall coming down out of here and then a big deep interactive stream that runs around from the pond so it's going to come back in this way it's going to be deep water the fish will actually be able to swim back into the stream and then there'll be a falls coming out of the out of the filtration system over here look at this we got awesome piece of live oak we're going to go rescue some cool uh, cypress wood from the swamp in a little while to make this habitat as natural looking as possible and uh, six feet deep so you have an amazing zero edge over here so it'll keep all of the surface debris is going to sheet off the other side and uh, there's a ton more to the project but that's what we got going on so far i wanted to let you guys know what we're working on this week so we blasted out we're at a place called the garden depot we've come to look for some sphagnum moss so we can build an awesome carnivorous plant bog in the back of the Camp Cannon project. So we'll see what we can find. And we'll water it 400 times and then it will repel water. I don't know why it's hydrophobic until it soaks it up. So John, why are you putting foam in there? So it doesn't leak into the pond. Cause this stuff, once this stuff gets uh, wet, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn into like quicksand. So by gluing all this together, it's, it's just a barrier. So I can put my fingers in it really. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the barrier will hold the peat moss back in here into its pocket and that way the plants can do their thing without uh, washing out into the pond. You can see over in here where we started the backfill with the peat moss. All this has been tightened up. This is what we do to keep it in the pocket. This is underlayment and foam holding all that together with rocks. I'll just use a nice log or something across the back of here here in a little bit. Show the after work. May have a little more detail work. It's all been foamed in the center, so this pocket's created water level. It's way down here. It should all be awesome. It'll stay nice and wet and grow lots of cool plants. They don't quite get as large. They, they'll, they're semi arboreal. They'll move about on the ground and they'll move about uh, up in the trees. But they get about eight foot full grown. I've got a male and a female here that came from the Bronx Zoo uh, where they were bred. You don't see them often in captivity. So these guys were bred and uh, they needed a home for some of the offspring and they're living here. So what I'd like to do is this is one of the species since they're so beautiful and that kind of spend time with the animals. Uh, now I know better uh, not to let them go because let them slither around out here. This is not a good candidate for a swimming with because they'll just go into the rocks and I'll never see them again. And that's why I'm a little wet because this one decided she wanted to go in a rock and hide. And so it was about 15 minutes of tug of war and then I noticed her little snout was way over there in another rock breathing. She could have outlasted me uh, as far as swimming. But a uh, pretty snake. But I'll tell you what, maybe I'll pull something special out for you guys right now since everyone's here. I know you guys are leaving, so let me pull something out every six months. All right? So the bigger the uh, prey item, the less they have to eat. So this, is so this is always good for the lizards, um, human beings. But once you got to a big enough size, there's not too much that's going to tackle, you know, tussle with it. It's an ambush predator. What's that? So you can see now where Chris is standing, that's where the waterfall is going to be in there. This is a fast stream, six inches deep. Comes in here, drops into a slower moving stream that's 12 inches deep or so. And then it runs right in. This is actually part of the pond, so all the fish will be able to integrate from the pond, swim right into the rapids underneath this cave, and they're going to go right into here. So check out the detail work on the bridge. This is the kind of thing we do that, that really makes 
a difference is the amount of time we take to do like look at this you can see this piece of wood that's wedged in here but really it's been manipulated you got pieces in here that have been cut to fit and it's all about hiding the end of this pipe and making it tight so that we can put a nice bunch of shells over top of it we're adding an urn to get a little more noise up here so this is functional this is basically the vacuum bag of your pond as my good friend mark would say and this guy is going to capture all of the debris and filter our pond water and then this is what we call our negative edge so this is like a dam that dictates the water level in the pond once the pond level gets up the water sheets off through a cascade and then it's held down here in this big storage area down in the bottom which you really can't see yet but a couple thousand gallons of water down there our wetland filter is going to filter this pond and have it clear within a few days to a week of firing the system up and the beneficial bacteria starts to grow and the whole ecosystem begins to develop. So that's what I got for today at the end of day two. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Centerpiece. Oh yeah. Do you think? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I love it, man. You guys rule. I'm like, I don't know what camera to talk to, dude. I got all my There you go, John, friends. this is yours. Oh, there's John's. All right, here. Hey, what's up, Ken and take over John's camera phone. We're gonna uh, head back on over and uh, see what's doing. All right, so we now know what the traveler's palm looks like. Oh wow! Well, what just happened? We just got we just got professional. Yeah. Love this place. Here you go. You guys are setting an awesome palm tree in. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> That'll lift it one, two, three. The tree and falling on top of the tree. On top of the earth. We need the I am floored. I cannot believe what you guys have done and the generosity you all have shown me. John Adams, Charlie Ross, all you guys. So many people whose names are escaping me. I love you all, really. Big Al from New York. I remember him. He's got my accent. Uh, people that watch my channel, my parents are sitting back there. They know that since <laughs> I was a little, a little guy, I always wanted to be surrounded by my animals. And uh, what you, Greg and Ed and the whole Aquascape team, what you guys have given me is a dream come true, man. I'm a little choked up because it's weird when a dream comes true, you know? It's like, well, what now do I gotta do? <laughs> what do I do, you know? So um, thank you all.
guys, thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed the first video that Leah put together for you guys on our trip to Kenan. I hope you enjoyed his swim pond and getting to meet Kenan. If you haven't seen it already, check out his Jeep video because we took his Jeep out on a trip. He took his Jeep out with us in it and he sunk that thing to the bottom of the sea. There were fish swimming through the front seat. Guys, check that video out. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about all this. Let me know. Do you want more stuff that matters with people that matter? Things that matter with people that matter? Do you want more project videos? What do you want us to put more of together for you? Because that's what we're here for. We're here to educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Thanks for hanging with us. John G out.